right, good morning. It's Friday the 22nd of May, it's just coming up to seven o'clock. Hubby left for work at ten past six and my son will be leaving shortly. And what it is, is my Iceland food shop has just been delivered. So I'm just going to turn around. I've got the light on because it's been raining this morning. I didn't think this was forecast. So here's all my shopping. Um, I was lucky to get a VIP slot again, so I had the slot between 6 and 8 this morning, just because our alarm does go off at half 5, so I'll give you a haul. I think what I'll do is I'll put my cloth on the floor in the kitchen, as I do down there, and I'll show you what I have. Right, now for my um, Iceland haul, it is quite a big shop because I needed to restock the freezer and everything and before anybody says no there's no real um, fresh produce here we still have our store open at Western Favel and um, it's like a market store sort of thing and it does all the fresh fruit and veg so normally one of the guys goes and picks the pieces up over either today or over the weekend so I'm going to quickly do this because I've got ice creams to put away and I think I went a bit mad on the ice creams. Um, so I'll start over here. Now this is not all the, yeah, I'm on my little favourite cushion. I've got this really reasonable from um, HomeSense, I think it was. It was either TK Maxx or HomeSense. And it's quite a big cushion. If I'm sitting on the floor, it just makes it, you know, more comfy. But that's beside the point. I did go for a lot of drinks, especially as it's been bank holiday and the weather's warmed up because especially my son takes um, a couple of cans a day to work. It depends on um, when he gets his break, so it's just easier for him. So I did, because these were on offer, I'm trying to think how much they were now. I think they were really reasonable, but I, say, I can't remember the price. So I've got the um, orange tango and this one, which is the tropical sugar-free I've got two bottles of Dr Pepper and four of the Pepsi Max but I haven't bought them all through because they go under the stairs um, now I've had a few comments and thank you very much for um, you know some recommendations and I will be um, trying them and I saw one in particular thank you very much because um, I mentioned about these um, we've gone on to these barbecue strips I'm not sure if she wants the name mentioned so um, I won't say it but um, she's given me a couple of recommendations and I saw them this morning and I thought mm. yeah just as my bell went my door to my delivery so I will put them on the list and we will try them so we do like these well I specifically like these and I did get the plain dippers and um, crispy potatoes there um, as I said I know it's not healthy but uh, sometimes cook those um, then I cook some bacon and cut that up and put that on the top and then um, sometimes barbecue bit of barbecue sauce and grated cheese um, they quite like it that way um, do excuse, I know this is disgusting, look at all the snacks and I do hide them. I only put a certain amount out but I noticed in Iceland they've had some um, new crisps as well. But I'll go back to those if I don't forget in a moment. Um, got two of the um, packs of rolls. Um, I don't know whether I mentioned I've got two loaves of bread here. And then we come on to desserts. Now, we haven't had desserts for a while. Um, the guys have been having their cereal at supper time. They're not much of breakfast eaters, so they've been having their cereal at night. But I got the Black Forest Gatto. That was £2. We got usual ice creams. I may end up having to take these out of the boxes due to the fact of taking up too much room, but I will have to see. Um, we've got the mint chop chip, which is what I like, and the strawberry. That is my treat. I have to be careful because I'm diabetic. Now, there's some limited edition ones, and I think they were all a pound, one pound fifty. I'm not 100% sure. 
um, and these are new. So we've got the soft whipped chocolate, and we've got the soft whipped green monsters, and we've got the soft whipped magic uh, mermaid, which could be um, a bit like the I'm hoping like chocolate mint type thing, and that obviously is possibly just chocolate um, with sprinkles but hey ho they look good don't they something different it's a shame really we can't see our granddaughter because I'm sure she would have loved these um then I've got our usual ones um we've got the beef quarter pounders there I've got two boxes and I've got the minted lamb sometimes we have minted lamb um and I do it sometimes in rolls sometimes with chips and beans or chips and peas and other times i do it um like a, a sort of as a joint and i will do it with mashed and roast potatoes um mixed veg of some form and yorkshire puddings and that sort of thing i do like them i'm not much of a beef eater and i've been told i've got to eat more red meat but i do um prefer chicken i must admit um, I did get the fish and that was an offer. I think it was two boxes for, I'd like to say £6.50. Please don't quote if I've got these prices wrong. But as I said, I don't eat a lot of fish, but I do like these. These are Young's and um, I do eat those and I do like those, say, with mushy peas, or ordinary peas and chips or fries. I needed some tin foil and another repeat buyer so I keep saying I'm thinking going on to this serve I think that's on offer for about three pound so it's not too bad I've got me cheese slices I haven't had those for ages so I usually put those when I do um the quarter pounders we're not much for McDonald's but we do well we did like Burger King so as I said usually once a week I will do those burgers with cheese slices, onion rings, um, using the rolls and that sort of thing and I put tomato, lettuce and sometimes they laugh at this fresh onion. I am, I do love onions, especially fresh onions. Um, I've got my coleslaw over there, I've got two packs of meat. The only item, I was very surprised because I thought there was going to be a lot missing, there was only one item missing. And that was my potato salad. And it looks like they've sent me some small potatoes there. Um, the only thing is I'm not sure if I've got enough mayo to actually make the potato salad. We shall see. And then I've got the utterly butterly there. My milk. Maybe I should have actually ordered more milk. Um, as I said, we've been getting through the milk an awful lot. Because I have cereal in the morning. The guys have cereal at night. And then I've got the eggs. And as I said, there was no substitutes or sometimes they send substitutes. They don't normally. There was nothing missing according to my sheet. I'll have to check, um, say, um, on my laptop. But it looks like everything, to my knowledge, is here. Now, the, the snacks. Now, don't judge me. As I said, the guys get through four packets between them a day. They do work long hours. Um, and yeah, maybe, you know, we will sort of get back on track after the lockdown. Um, the Flaming Hot Watts sets, or Cheetos, have I got Watts this time? I have had difficulty in getting the guys to get those. We've tried Poundland, Tesco's and Iceland. And when they went in Iceland at the weekend, they couldn't get them. So that was really good. So they must have had a delivery. And I've got the sizzling um, steak over there. I'm sure I've had those before. And I'll go back to those three packets in a minute by Walkers because they are new. I've got the ordinary um, Cheetos and um, the Walkers Chris over there. Now, I've got three packets of Walker's Crisp. I'll try not to rustle. Um, it's a new range, so um, I think they were on off for a pound each, which actually is, I know they're new, but can 
I suppose not be very cost effective because you only get five packets in those as you normally get six but I thought it was something a little bit different so we've got American hot pizza there we've got gourmet is that burger um, is that kitchen and we've got um, I think the other one is peri peri chicken so um, it looks like they've also got offers on the packets which I'll have to read um, I didn't notice that on um, you know when I was putting my order through um, what it actually says but if these are things where you know you get vouchers um, for restaurants obviously that's not going to work but I'll read the back of those so I'm gonna quickly get my ice creams and my freezer stuff away um, as I said and again a disclaimer no I know there's no fresh produce but that comes separately so maybe I've got a little bit of um, salad stuff left I don't know whether the guys will go around the corner shop or not or to my vegetable stall um, but hopefully they might get away with not having to go shopping this week at least a major shop which will be a relief I think for the guys so there we are so there's my um, shopping and I will let you know about the ice creams I mean, I'm sure I say our granddaughter would love these but I haven't seen her now in about I think it's two and a half to three months so um, yeah so hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye